Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm going to take you on a tour of the 2018 annual fish show and mega auction for the Honolulu Aquarium Society. So there were all sorts of categories for the fish show. There was an aquascaping category as well as a community tank category. There are entries for guppy pairs, other light bearers, egg layers, a beta category, and even a family category where parrots and fry were on display in the same tank. After that, I'll take you through the mega auction and show you what I ended up picking up. So um, anyways, let's get right onto it and start the tour. Okay, so right off the bat, um, when you walk into the door, you see this beautiful tank, it won first place, um, best in show for the aquascaping category. A uh, very nice tank, a bunch of just mixed fancy guppies. Nice rock skate, nice wood. Yeah, that was very really nice. Uh, this is another aquascaping entry. This one had a, a bit of an algae problem, um, especially on the sand, but not bad. Uh, this one won second place. Uh, nice downoy and some um, some type of java fern. This one won third place. Uh, again, some downoy, nice branches, some moss on the top. This one won first place for the community tank um, category. I think actually this is the only entry for this. Uh, let's see what else. This is the beta tank um, section. This is all one person's entry, I think. Really nice display case. These um, look like they were red, white, and blue. Uh, this was a gold one. Another gold one, looks like a gold pocot. Another red, white, and blue entry. This guy didn't look too happy. <laughs> yeah, all, the, all those are third place. This is the second and first place winners for the beta category. Uh, the first place went to that paradise color and the second place went to that red and blue one. Alright, we're moving on to the uh, guppy section. This is the... Um, this one didn't place. This one had a funny comment. They said um, that female was a little over the hill um, from the, one of the judges. Uh, that was second place and this one was first place. So this is the advanced category. Very nice um, guppy pair. This is what the kind of guppies I'll have to go up against next year when I compete in the advanced category. Uh, here's another guppy pair, black, full black guppies. This is, I really like this one. This is the um, metal black lace. I just recently picked up a pair of these. Uh, these look like albino reds. This one took third place. Very nice big full tail on these. Yeah, I really like that one. Uh, I'm not sure what type these are. Look like turquoise or blue. Uh, this looks like the live bearer section. Mostly sword tails and patties. I really like this black and orange, uh, black and yellow pair. Those are stunning. Um, now we're on to kind of the display tank section. Some of these were just bought in for display, not competition. Um, and a couple of these actually just went for sale at the end of the auction. I think this one went for 50 bucks for like 20 uh, multi fasciatus and it came with the whole tank and everything. This one um, was some, that was, those are some rainbows also that tank went for sale. This looks like the um, egg layer section. That one took third place for pro grubbies. Yeah, the egg layers. These are some long fin gold rams. Let's see, this took second place. These are some really nice calico orandas. I actually like this one better. I think this one should have won first. 
Really nice pair. But this one actually took first. This is the red and white horrendous. Really nice. This fish won the single fish category. I think it was the only one in that category, but took first place nonetheless. And let's see what's next. This was the family advanced category. Very nice um, red jewel cichlids, I think. You could, you can't see it here, but there's a really itty bitty fry on the bottom there. This one was best in show, first place for the grow out fish. Um, the grow out fish this year was some kind of geophagus. Um, I actually bought some to try to compete, but sadly mine didn't make it. Um, so I couldn't compete in this category, but uh, look at how stunning it would have came out if I... Exactly. This is um, the aquascaping um, novice category, so this is the section that I'm competing in. That one didn't in place, uh, sadly, but this one, this is one of Carson's Aquascaping 101 tank. This one took um, second place in this category. Really nice skate, couple, um, what do you call those, pea puffers in there. And this is uh, another Carson's tank. This one took surprisingly third place, I thought, oh, let's see. <laughs> there was a funny comment, um, one of the judges said, um, that the goby looked scared. <laughs> but yeah, this is Carson's um, bonsai tank. I really like this tank. I thought it should have won, maybe. But yeah, definitely better than third place. This is uh, my entry. I surprisingly took first place in this category. So next year, I'll have to compete in the advanced um, section. But I'm sure you guys have seen this tank before. Uh, this one was another novice entry for the, um, I guess this, this is the eight layer section or something. Um, this guppy pairs, novice section, this is another one of my entries, I still won first place for this. These are my, um, Dumbo Air Mosaic Reds. Um, I really like this tank, this was, um, the family novice section took first place. This is a pair of plecos. And that female was huge. Yeah, they had some longfin um, fries too in there. Uh, this was those rainbows we've seen earlier. Those Maltes again. Man, those are a lot of Maltes. Yeah, these display tanks. So um, we're on to the mega auction. Um, this is a bunch of biohome. I'm not sure if you guys heard of this stuff, but really good to put in your filters. A um, bunch of guppies for sales. Some of them I, I bought in for donation. Some Moina, Daphnia. A bunch of plants. A lot of guppies today, surprisingly. I think myself, I bought in like one, two, three. I think I bought about six bags of guppies myself. There's my red blue floaters. Some more plants. What is this? This one was um, some bluegrass guppies. I was thinking about it, I'm thinking, ah, they didn't look that great, so decided not to bid on those. Uh, what are those? Some microworms. I actually took one of those home. A bunch of food. Uh, this section got pretty good over here. Well, this was this is some gel balls, um, some betas. Um, but I was really interested in these um, pleco fries. Some katapa leaves, more betas, and those, a lot of those betas went to all the kids. For some reason, the kids were bidding those betas up. And the adults wanted those betas. A lot more, oh, this is not, there was a lot of shrimp for sale today too. Um, some crystal reds, some carbon reunis. 
a lot of different grades of cherishing and there's this like interesting moss in, in that one that I'm just picking up now and um, I actually wanted to just bid just for that moss because I didn't have that moss before yeah, some kind of patties here those are pretty nice um, some nicely crocheted um, betta fish that someone made and they even made some shrimp um, there's even some plants for sale like some land plants could really bring anything for auction today some vinegar yield cultures a sealed 2 tank there's the auctioneer right there the mean man and a bunch of old tanks Never enough tanks. A full size of paleo bombs, aka so watch the tank. Good yeah. starter box for you guys, real, real fast, under low light, no CO2. Starting bid, one dollar. One dollar, two, three, four in the back, five. Ah, oh, sorry, bid, sorry. Starting bid, three dollars. Sorry, guys. I sound five. Okay, so wait, wait, we're we. Rewind. Starting bid is $3. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven going once. Oh, eight in the back. Going once. Going twice. So, bidder 74, $8. Item number 11. Three night So, this was by Hall for today. Um, I picked up this 20 long. For really cheap, I think it was only like six dollars. Um, I picked up this um, gardener eye killifish, those gold ones. It came with this um, culture of flightless fruit flies and a spawning box. Really good, off for tw uh, ten bucks. And I got this for a dollar. The microworm culture. Um, this was pretty cool. Uh, tissue culture for um, dwarf hair grass. And I ended up picking up those carbon release shrimp with that moss that I really wanted. Yeah, really scored with these. What else did I get? Oh, okay, I got these super red plecos for fry. I really wanted those, so I'm glad that no one really, no one else really, really wanted them because those could have went for a high price. And I got one of these retro tanks, these aluminum retro tanks. I don't, I don't know why, I just had to have it. <laughs> but uh, that's what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.